back with the first match day vlog of the new season. If you're new around here and you don't already know, this is the place to be for any aspiring footballers, football fans, or anyone with a general interest in the footballing world. We're playing Leighton Orient at home. We need our first three points desperately, but mic'd up, match days are back, baby. Let's get this new season underway. Ah, what a beautiful day for a game of football. Leighton Orient at home tonight. I am just at the training grounds. I'm just coming in this morning to make sure everything's all good and I'm ready to play tonight. Do a little bit of testing on the hamstrings, calves and groins, I think. If you don't know, I did miss the first game of the season with a back spasm, which was really annoying. I'll give you a little bit of an update when we get indoors, but there shouldn't be too many people here because of the game tonight. Let's get inside and see what the crack is. New table tennis table, lads are going to be all over there. Oh, Tom! I like that for you. Do you want to full game here? Here you go. What's the scores on the doors? Nil nil. <laughs> Stay in that way, go, go. Yeah, it's bad standard, but you've caught it at the wrong time. Yeah, and here we go. This is the first time we've played. Whoever wins this point is a better player. Oh, King JJ. Be all over that. So, as I was saying, really disappointing to miss the first game of the season with a back spasm of all things. I was in the gym just before we went out, I think, for training on the Thursday. I was doing some back extensions just to get like my hamstrings and posterior chain warm. Spent about five minutes on there, came off, and I just felt a whole load of tension rush into my back and I thought, oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Anyway, put me out for around 10 days or so. I was lucky to get an injection done by a doctor in London and that kind of like accelerated the rehab phase but it's still been a little bit achy. Managed to get myself back for the Carabao Cup first round against MK Dons. God, who remembers that uh, semi-final away leg against MK Dons? One of the best slash worst days of my life. Still got like a little bit of PTSD from that wave after wave of attack. Managed to get through and get to Wembley. Beat them 2-0, good performance, played about 70 minutes. And then it was back to the league against Lincoln away who they've been a little bit of a bogey team for me throughout my career went one nil down from there we were chasing the game and we ended up losing three nil terrible day at the office two games zero points not an ideal start at all but we've got a chance to make it right tonight against Leighton Orient who have just been promoted from league two good football inside I've heard I'm going to watch clips of their front players later hopefully pass this little fitness test and put things right we need three points massively. Let's get into the gym and make sure we pass this fitness test day. So after having this annoying back spasm, I've been pretty much immobile for like the last 10 days or so. When you go straight back into games, obviously you get a little bit fatigued. My hamstrings have been tired and whatnot. So you just want to make sure that they're all firing correctly on that little force frame over there. There's only so much you can do in the gym. Back spasms are really annoying. You can't run, do any sort of training out on the grass really. So I only had a couple of sessions and I was kind of feeling the effects of it Monday morning. But see how I'll get on now. Hopefully it all will be sweet. Passing it with flying colours so far. These two are still at it. Apparently, JJ just won 11 nil. He's obviously got a lot about him. Do not put this on the internet. No. Oh, JJ's got that double grip backhand. He's obviously a tennis player, isn't he? I'm not sure I'm allowed it, but it's working. Oh, oh. yes. I'm not sure I'm allowed it, but it's working. <laughs> Quick weight check on the death step. Coming in at 96 kg. It's quite hard to like actually maintain muscle mass when you're completely immobile. I've just been literally nailing protein veg, protein veg, protein veg. Not too far off a carnival diet over these last 10 days or so. A lot of people will say red meat, steaks, lamb, beef, whatever it might be, causes a lot of inflammation in the body, but I've actually found it to have the reverse effect. I felt a lot better. And I've had a shit load of uh, steak lately, let me tell you that. Oh. You see Forrest Gump? Yeah. He's my idol. <laughs> oh, JJ. Oh, just... I'm playing the king. Get our uh, hand eye coordination and reactions in for tonight. JJ beat Tom 11 0. Tom? No, I just want. I, think I saw you just do a quick U turn. You don't want any part of this conversation. I love the red one. <laughs> Cheers. You've got a bit as well. Well, I used to have a bit. No 
it's not acceptable. Oh my god. That's a bit rusty. Very rusty. Your serve, yeah? Is that your serve? Yeah. Is there any rules to this? Mm-hmm. Yes. First blood tafazoli. Tom! Mate, I'll tell you this Yes, week, I'll oh, take that. Yeah, it's disgusting. I'll take it. I'm not even sorry about it. I need it. Take it now. 6 5. I'm just going to force the arrow. F off, Ryan! Tough it up, man. 8 6. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Doesn't like that corner. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going for it. I'm going to play like this. I'm gonna keep you on. Oh, yes. Yes. Joe. Ten eight. Ten eight. I'm not going for it. I'm not going for it. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> JJ's a man to beat, isn't he? See you later, Jay. Later, Tom. Cheers, mate. Decent start to the day, passed the fitness test with flying colours, which I'm really happy about. I'm not so happy that I lost to JJ in a table tennis game. No, I'm only joking. He is the king, don't mind losing to him, but I will have my vengeance soon when I get this backhand going a little bit, eh? Gonna get home now, about an hour 30 nap, just to make sure I'm fresh and ready for tonight. And then, game time. Uh, all right, quarter to three now. We are kicking off at 7.45 tonight, so we're gonna get an hour and a half kip before pre-match around 4.30. And something I should have probably mentioned to you guys was um, you all know how seriously I take my sleep. When it comes to the makeup of a professional footballer, the main factors that you've got to consider, hard work and dedication, nutrition, sleep, recovery, diet, mindset, whatever it might be, I'd rank sleep number two in that pecking order after hard work and dedication. That's how important sleep is. My sleep actually started going downhill a little bit in June and July. Once I got this back spasm, I started really struggling. I spoke to the physio at the club and he said like, Taff, have you been doing anything different lately? I know I felt a tension come on in the gym when I was doing the back extensions, but he said like, that's not gonna cause a back spasm of this magnitude. You must have done something else. Have you changed anything up? Were you lifting heavy weights in the gym that you don't normally do? Was your form bad? And I was like racking my brains and I was like, no, I, I, I've done nothing. I've done nothing different whatsoever. And he said to me, well, what about your mattress? Yeah, I've got the same mattress I've had for the last nine years. He was like, nine years? Bloody yo. And that's when I realized like nine years is probably a bit too long, started doing a bit of research online. This back spasm wouldn't shift. I came across uh, the Emma cooling mattress, ordered myself one. It came about eight days ago, and my God, let me tell you, this mattress has been doing me wonders. My recovery scores in the mornings have gone through the roof. I've managed to finally get back on the pitch. When I go to sleep at night, I'm sleeping all the way through. I'm not waking up like I was before. With my last mattress, I'd find myself like waking up with like a backache and then having to roll over to try and get comfortable again no 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 not anymore this has been brilliant for me my sleep duration has increased my sleep latency has gone down everything is looking all good and i'm finally back on the pitch i'm putting it down to this new mattress i've got the cooling feature on the yama mattress really has been a game changer when you sleep at night your body needs to drop in temperature and then you'll end up dozing off. With the cooling feature of the Emma mattress, if you're trying to fight off the discomfort of being all sweaty and that, and you guys will know me, I'm quite a sweaty guy, especially when I've got to sleep next to, uh, to Lily at night. So if you do take your football seriously, you'll know how important your sleep is. Something to start prioritizing. Click the link down below, get yourself an Emma mattress and start noticing huge benefits. Real good. I'm gonna get my head down for about an hour and a half, set my alarm for 4.15 before I have pre-match 
on my new mattress. I can't wait. See you in about an hour and a half. What a sleep. Got an hour 30 under my belt. Feeling good, ready to go. Just a pre-match. Same old, same old. Two sea bass fillets, wild rice, a bit of sweet potato before tonight's game. Obviously, been fueling up since Saturday's game. If you don't know, six to eight grams per kg of body weight of carbohydrates starting from two days before the game. So for me, you saw me weighing in earlier at 96 kg. I'm looking at around 700-ish grams of carbohydrates throughout the day to make sure that my glycogen stores are properly fueled, giving me the best chance in feeling energized for the whole game tonight. I'm now just watching a little bit of Leighton Orient and their front boys, their attacking style of play. We are playing slightly different formation this season. Three at the back with wing backs, two sitters or one sitter and two tens, and then obviously a striker and two tens or two strikers. I am playing on the left side of the back three. Something new to me. Under the previous manager, I was in the middle, but I'm actually really enjoying it playing on that left side. I'm kind of thriving in that role. When I played that, I've done pretty well. So Leighton Orient are playing one striker where most likely, you never know, prepare all throughout the week on their most commonly used formation and then we get to the game and sometimes teams throw a spanner in the works and they play something completely different and all your defensive prep work goes out the window but more than likely they're going to be playing a target man up front Pigot, handful good in the box technically decent who's so got to be carefully monitored and they're going to play the the box formation that everyone is using nowadays two sitters and two tens in front of them i think two tens got to be wary of the guy on my side when the ball's on the other side he likes to take up positions between the wing back next to me and also our left sided CDM. Picks up awkward position. He waits for the ball to come back out to him and obviously tries to drive at the back three. So, been watching him closely. I know what he's about. Hopefully nullify him tonight. Anyway, last little bit of revision and then it's down to the stadium. <sighs> Big game tonight. Need three points. Looking forward to this one. Next time you see me, I'll be on the pitch. Let's go. Boise, post. Boise, look out! Boise! You're going to the side, your left back. Go! Me and you lock this down in. Boise! Brilliant you! Boise! Boise, switch on! Lowy, yes, me. Lowy, left. Left, save Snowy! Next will start you though. Be done real. Keep this going, Lloyd. Ref! Boise!
Tell him! What a game. I only played 60 minutes because I felt a little bit in my medial calf area, but the physio was able to clear that straight up. So I actually feel really good right now. Sorry there was no second half footage, the camera died, but I did come off 15 minutes into it anyway, at one all. Just after one of their players got a red card, and my God, is that a good feeling? When you're on a pitch and the other team goes down to 10 men, Sometimes it feels better than actually scoring a goal because you know you're going to capitalise on this now and then it should be easy to see the game out. However, Leighton Orium actually grew stronger when it went down to 10 men. We made it 2-1. Lowy with his second goal of the game. <sighs> He's on fire, by the way. Centre half scoring two goals. Fair play. We then went on to make it 3-1. Del Taylor, I think that's his first goal for the club. I thought the game was done and dusted at this point, but no, Leighton Orium, fair play to them. Bounced back to cause... A little nervy ending to the game. They made it 3-2. We were able to grind it out and get our first win in the league this season. So buzzing with that. Hopefully it kickstarts us now and we'll be able to take that into Burton on Saturday and pick up another three points. Guys, the winner of the giveaway will be announced in the next video for the match day shirt and also the training top because there's still comments coming through on that one. I want to give everyone a fair chance. If you've not, make sure you subscribe to the channel now for a chance to win. Like and comment on this video, it does it wonders, and I'll see you for Burton at home.